just call me the yes girl, the go-along girl, the one who can be counted on to dive in first, ask questions later. Tattoo my high school boyfriend's name on my ankle? Of course, what could go wrong? Six days at Burning Man with the dude I just met? Sure, it's an adventure. But this, I think, as I look in the bathroom mirror, might be my last impulsive hurrah. Because this morning, I have pink hair. At first, it scares the pee out of me. Like one of those horror movie moments where a girl looks in a mirror and a completely different person looks back. Luckily, my brain fills in the missing pieces as I lean in and examine my new look. A gift from my best friends Beth and Mia, who talked me into it last night after my million and tenth complaint about needing a change. It's a change, all right. One in a series initiated over the last six months. Step one, completed last week. Break up with my semi-boyfriend person, Brian, who is absolutely sweet as vanilla, but just doesn't make my strings quiver, if you know what I mean. Step two, planned for today. Take the six months of acting lessons Beth talked me into for a trial run with a real-life audition. Step three, apparently, pink hair. I have to admit, the color is somewhere between adorable and alarming, which suits me. Not quite cotton candy, not quite flamingo. It punks up my bob and gives my usual pale skin a rosy glow. I brush the pink strands back from my face and decide I can live with it. At least for the few weeks it will take to grow out. Unless I get a part in the movie that's going to make Beth a star. I don't care what it is. I'll take third cocktail server from the left as long as it pays a few bucks. Anything to keep the lights on and help me get my second cello out of Hawk. Beth comes into the bathroom and stands behind me, resting her chin on my shoulder. What do you think? I'm not sure, I tell her, mostly to bust her chops. In reality, I'm starting to love it. <laughs>